Good Sunday morning. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates, bringing you a True View Exteriors Severe Outlook. Uh, I'm doing this one really early for uh, those of you who may be uh, getting up early to head down to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway or to do other activities. I just wanted to make sure I get this out uh, plenty early for for those of you. The Storm Prediction Center has made some slight changes to the outlook for today. Uh, they have pulled the enhanced risk a little farther north, uh, as I expected. I actually thought they could come a little bit farther north with it still, but uh, now pretty much all of Madison County is an enhanced risk of severe. So again, all modes of severe will be uh, possible today. Uh, here's a look at the uh, tornado outlook. They have us uh, in a 5% risk for uh, tornadoes with a uh, cross-hatched area down over southwestern Illinois. So I'm still surprised they haven't gone with a moderate risk down that way. But uh, regardless, uh, up here, much of Indiana, probably the southern, a little over half, uh, we have about a 5% risk for tornadoes. And um, we also have a risk for damaging winds. Damaging winds are probably the primary threat. Uh, we have about a 30% risk for uh, damaging winds. And then from areas basically I-74 and to the southwest, there's this cross-hatched area that does include Indianapolis. And that means that there's greater than a 10% risk for uh, significant winds over 74 miles per hour. And then there's uh, a look at the hail outlook and we're in about a 15% risk for hail with the uh, southwestern parts of Indiana also in a cross-hatched area for a risk of greater than 10% risk for a two inch diameter or larger hail. So again, kind of the areas I was uh, concerned about yesterday uh, you know, I thought maybe you might go into a, a moderate risk for severe. Uh, SPC has opted not to do that, but again, the storms don't need lines on a map to do what they're going to do. And lastly, here's a look at the NAM 3K model. It's not perfect, but I think it's a reasonable facsimile of what might happen versus uh, what the HRRR model has. So uh, here we take a look at things, and let's back this up just a touch here. So here's a look at what the uh, model has. This would be around 1 p.m. Uh, the line would be pressing through Indianapolis, getting ready to move into um, Madison County. And uh, let me uh, change my color here. Notice this uh, little triangle right here where the, there are kind of two lines coming together. Right in this area where those come together, that uh, would be an area we would watch for possible rotation. Uh, again, damaging winds would be the main threat with this, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that, how that, that plays out as that line presses through. I uh, hereby, again, don't take this exact, don't take this uh, simulator radar as exact, but you know, here we are around 2 p.m. They, or the uh, NAM 3K has a uh, line pressing through Madison County, and then moving on out by uh, 3 p.m., 4 p.m., so or 5 p.m. actually. And then as as we go on, then later in the evening, there's a secondary line that comes through. This has a little more of a bow to it. Again, a damaging wind threat. It does bring the uh, storms as far up as the Anderson and Muncie area, kind of right in here. So um, that's kind of why I like this one a little better, just because it, the in, the HRRR just does not bring this activity. Uh, it keeps it way down in far southern Indiana. This will be around 11 p.m. tonight, and then the uh, storms will press on through. And as we get, uh, you know, on into tomorrow, much of Memorial Day would be dry. And then 
there could be some isolated storms pop up tomorrow night and probably not severe tomorrow night. So the main things we're watching again are a line coming through somewhere in the noon to 2 p.m. time frame this afternoon. And then again tonight, maybe in the 10 p.m. to midnight time frame. So if anything goes severe or if any of the dynamics change, I will update you. I just wanted to do this at really early for those of you who are trying to plan your day and getting out early to go do different activities. So uh, again, we're in an enhanced risk for severe here in Madison County, all modes of severe possible, two different waves. And I will update you if necessary, and I will go live if necessary. In the meantime, have a great morning and have a weather aware afternoon. And hopefully we get to 500 in. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates.